Hello and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to tell you how to get a whole bunch of mounts with some of the old Burning Crusade reputations. It should be pretty easy and if you're a bit bored in game, maybe this will give you something to do. So first of all, let's start off with Netherwing. A Netherwing is mostly quest based. Go to the location on the map and pick up the quest called Kindness from the Blood Elf NPC. After a few quests there, you will need to, essentially like you pledge yourself to a Netherwing, and you'll need epic flying for that. The quests then will lead you on to Netherwing Ledge. Just do all the dailies there, you all know how to do dailies, so you can work it out. As your rep increases, you get access to more daily quests per day, which is pretty cool. And in addition to this, the, I think, main way of farming up this reputation is Netherwing Eggs. These eggs have got a 1% drop rate on the various mobs on the island, but more importantly, they are just scattered on the ground throughout the entire area. I will flash up a map or maybe link to a good one depending on the editing of this video and essentially just collect as many as you can. Your luck will depend completely on the competition though and due to the cross realm zone system, there might be some other people there. The eggs might be kind of tedious to get, but other than just doing dailies, they are the only way to get on-demand reputation with this faction. Next, we've got the Shatari Skyguard. This is actually really quite easy. Just go to their hub, I'll put up the location on the screen, and uh, pick up the quests there. Then go into Skettis and start killing all of the mobs that you see. These mobs will drop Shadow Dust. Once you get 10 Shadow Dust, turn it in at the Skyguard base. Then, that will give you an elixir. Drink that elixir and head back into Skettis. The elixir will allow you to see new mobs called Time Lost mobs. Just kill all of those that you see, and they will drop scrolls. These scrolls can then be used at the various skull piles that are just scattered throughout the area to summon in a mob. I think there's four of them in total. Each mob will drop an item, and turning in one of each item, so i.e. a full set of them, one from each mob, will give you a time lost offering back at your base. Once you get that time lost offering, then go to the central highland place and use it to summon Tarok, and killing him will give you a bunch of rep. All you need to do is just rinse and repeat that process. And to save on running time, it's probably best just to farm up a few shadow elixirs, then farm up loads of scrolls, then kill multiple of each summon boss at a time, and that's probably the more efficient way to do it. It's a pretty easy rep to get, honestly. Next, we've got the uh, Magkar and uh, Kurunai, I think. So to start off with these guys, you want to do a whole bunch of quests for the Kurunai. Go to Orbor Harborage in Zangermarsh and do all the quests there. Then for the Horde, go to Thralmar and pick up a quest called the Assassin. Both of these quests and the subsequent like follow-on quests will lead you to the main hub for each faction in Nagrand. From there, just do all of the quests. That's probably the easiest way to do it. After that, you will be about halfway through Honored, and the only way to get reputation is farming up war beads. These war beads drop off ogres in the zone, and in my experience, the best place to farm them is the Burning Blade Ruins. The ogres themselves do give you a little bit of rep, so that'll be good if you're a human or something like that, but the main way is the war bead turn-ins. You will probably need, I'd say, about like 300 to 400 of these beads to get your way up to Exalted, just roughly in my head. So it might take an hour or two, maybe a bit more, of farming to get them all. And finally, let's cover the Scenarian Expedition. This is extremely easy to farm. All you need to do is head into the Steam Vault instance on Heroic and uh, just kill everything, do the whole thing. It's really quite simple. Now, you can also start off by doing their quests, which are at the Scenarian Refuge, and uh, doing all those quests will, I think, take you roughly a third of the way into being honored. But basically, soloing Steam Vaults on Heroic it takes a few minutes, and it gains, I believe, two and a half thousand, maybe a little bit more, reputation with the faction. So just knock that stuff out as quickly as you can. If you want to also get some rep with Sporagar at the same time, then you can do the Underbog, which is a very good choice because you can get, um, I think it's Sagwine Hibiscus from there, which you turn into Sporagar for rep. But essentially, that is it for the guide. It only took a few minutes to explain, but there's a good few hours of gameplay here, and in total, you'll probably get, like, I don't know, nearly 20 mounts, maybe some more. So it should be worth it if you're a mount collector. Anyway, that is it for me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.